So Alan Lastinger is an extraordinary human being. And so naturally when he dives into a project, here we go with great leadership, great vision, great energy, doing it the right way. He has this motto, never give up. If he makes his mind up about something or a project, just get out of his way because he's going to get it done. started his career at Barnett right out of uh, the University of Florida Business School. He really loved his job. Um, he started the bank here out on 43rd across the street from a collared patch and, and, and Mr. Bott said, um, gee, I can't seem to get anybody to run that, Alan. I think I'm going to send you down there and see what you can do since you chose that location. And, and the rest was history. When Alan retired at 55. I wondered if he would be happy in retirement, but he just went from working for pay to working, you know, as a volunteer and never looked back. One of the things that we decided to do was was found a family foundation, basically to give back to the community and to the state and to causes that are, are important to us. We are appreciating the past, but investing in the future with children. Education is the reason Alan and I live the lifestyle that we live. Um, I was able to get a small scholarship and go to the University of Florida, and that has changed my life. I want that for other people. I want that for kids. It's not very surprising at all that once uh, he achieves success in life, that he invested to start a new education center that would help to promote the education of the most vulnerable. We were able to develop a new master's program that was selected as the best in the country at the time. Uh, we were able to start Early Learning Florida, which is now viewed as a national prototype. We were able to uh, start Algebra Nation and Math Nation, which is now throughout the country. All of these things were made possible because of the vision of Alan and Dolores Lastinger in truly believing that a university could play a pivotal role to help to improve the quality of life in our state and country. There's more satisfaction, I think, in seeing somebody that you have helped succeed, then you accomplishing those things. Well, it's difficult to say one or two things that Alan's done for the state of Florida. It's more like a hundred or a thousand. He loves things that are important to our fabric, our nation, and he does that through historical means preserving it, protecting it, and making sure it's going to be available to others that come along. I saw a lot of potential for the university's involvement in St. Augustine. Our basic mission is to maintain and preserve the state-owned historic properties. But we also have a mission of uh, interpreting history. Probably the uh, most recognized of our accomplishments is a documentary we just completed on the colonial history of St. Augustine. And uh, this was shown nationally on PBS under the Secrets of the Dead series, Secrets of Spanish Florida. We wanted this documentary film to be in the curriculum of all Florida students. So it had two major purposes, to solidify our history, the importance of Florida, but also to educate and, and continue to remind our generations to come of that history. We have tried to teach our kids and our grandkids that it's all, not all about them. It's about the world we live in, the community we live in, and they need to understand that they have a responsibility to help others as much as they try to help themselves. He and Dolores planted a seed. Sixteen years later, we've served more than a million students, more than a hundred thousand teachers, in many states in our country. They are just as engaged in a very positive way as they have always been from day one. So if you're looking for a citizen of the year who was successful, who also gave back to the state, 
and is making a difference everywhere in this state, then uh, you'll never find a better person than Alan Lastimer. There's nothing like setting an example, and Alan does that. And what Alan does is contagious. And so when you have an alumni and a leader like Alan attach himself to the University of Florida, it is great things forever. I'm just thrilled for him. I think it's, it's a great honor, and I think it's well-deserved.